Good morning everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video and I hope you guys are having a great day as always. Be sure you smile and be sure you're happy because you know on this channel it's all about positivity and because you picked on one of my videos. But today guys I'm going to be doing a cooking episode. Yes guys you heard me right a cooking episode. So just sit back, relax, take some notes and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so what you will need, two slices of bacon, not too thin, and then you'll get some extra large free range eggs, all we need is just about two, two will be enough, and then the third thing we need is bread, um, I think we don't have any at the moment, so let me run down to the shops and get some more. Guys, just listen to how this thing starts. Guys, this is dangerous what I'm doing. I don't advise to vlog and drive. Yes, guys, I finally got some nice bread. Yo, guys, it's like 40 degrees out here and it's only like 11 in the morning. Holy man, I don't know how to function in this weather. All right, guys, what we'll need is just a pan like this one, um, the frying one. This one is non-stick. Uh, prefer it be a non-stick. If you don't have a non-stick, you can just use cooking oil. And then uh, just put it on the stove. And then what we do, guys, is we'll just place the piece of bacon just nice and gently. Um, make sure it's flat. Um, the reason why uh, I said like you should wash the bacon is because it reduces the uh, shrinkage level. Whereas if you don't wash it, you just put it out. Uh, it shrinks like really small, you know. If you don't want your bacon to be small, so just wash it, guys. And then we take the last piece and then we just apply it next to the other bacon. Just try to like use as much space as possible, you know. That really helps like cook it properly as well, you know. Oh, I love that sizzling sound, guys. Yo, guys, I know there's people who are watching this who probably don't eat bacon and they're probably like, what the heck is this guy doing? But guys, me, I eat everything. I eat anything and everything. Uh, that's how I was raised, you know. I don't choose food like what not to eat. It, you know and um, think about this if you were in the jungle and there was no food and you only had to eat bacon um, would you eat it or would you starve to death yeah I love bacon bacon is delicious um, but again I mean there's a lot of people out there who don't like bacon and that's all right I mean I'm not saying that that's bad I'm just saying as long as you don't criticize me I won't criticize you simple come on focus here we go all right guys that one almost went in my face, alright. Um, so we just try to turn the bacon over now. So we have to like try to achieve the golden color. Woo! Look at that guys. That looks stunning. Oh look at this one, it's catching on fire. Ah. The bacon is trying to escape. It's still alive. The muscles are twitching. The good thing about the non-stick pan is because you don't need to add any more oil. You can use that oil for the eggs later on. Just squish down a bit to try to make it cook. Evenly, and then while I let that uh, cook, I'll just turn this a uh, little bit, maybe to halfway there, and then I'll get the eggs. All right, guys. So what you will need is just a bowl and a spoon, and also some salt. So what you want to do is get uh, both eggs like this, and uh, do this like uh, use this. This is the strongest part. So you do this to crack this one. Once it's a big crack, you do the same to this one, and then it, oh, maybe I crack this one a bit too much. That's alright. And then guys, we'll just uh, put the egg in there. And then this one, sit it on the corner. And then we will crack it in like that. Oh, yummy. Alright. Well, well, we do that mix with um, a bit of salt. Oh, shit. I think I overcooked the bacon, guys. Guys, just to show you what I was talking about. Look how much oil there is. Just from that bacon, I didn't add any oil at all. That's just oil from the bacon. And now I can use it for my eggs. And this will give my eggs a nice flavor as well. And then, um, I just kind of mix. After that's nice and mixed, we come back to the uh, pan and then we'll just pour it in. Yo guys, while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna put the kettle on. Um, so I can have some tea with this. And this guys here yeah, is an amazing dish. Trust me, you should try it once. And yeah guys, so just let me eat this real quick and I'll pick up the vlog from there. Yo guys, before I close off today's video, I just wanna say thank you so much if you made it to the end. 
please smash that like button please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed please turn post notifications on guys to be notified when i do upload and that's twice a week if you really like these uh cooking episodes which i'm making please smash that like button if you want me to continue this and other than that it's been ray and i'm out peace